so thank you both and on to the business. Um, so the first thing I want to remind everybody is that we are being live broadcast. Um, and so council members, when you're speaking, please use your mics so that people online can hear us. Uh, this is also being recorded and will be available for anybody to watch later. Um, so people online now, welcome. And then uh, people watching us in the future, thank you for paying attention to what we're doing here at NHGRI as well. And now I need to get back into my computer. Actually, we have backup. <laughs> also Rudy's idea. So I bet Rudy you. taught you that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Rudy. Um, all right. So the first order of business for today is to introduce our new staff members. Um, so first. We have Angela Walters. Please stand up. Thank you. So Angela joins us um, after a long an NIH career starting in February of 2016 as grant management specialist at the National Cancer Institute. Um, she continued in the grant management field after transferring to the National Institute of Diabetes and Dig of and Digestive and Kidney Research, or NIDDK, in March 2022, and joined NHGRI this past June as a grant management specialist. So welcome, Angela. Next, I'd like to introduce Michelle Talman. Michelle will be a familiar face to many of you, as she's been at the NIH since 2009. Our first 15 years were with the Office of the Director, where she played key roles in assisting the Office of Policy for Extramural Research Administration, or OPERA, um, supporting and supporting the OEP's extramural staff training programs. She came to NHGRI in 2015 to provide administrative support to our grants administration branch and focus on grant closeout and council activities. So um, now she will be continuing in her journey with NHGRI and with the Grants Administration Branch as a program specialist in the Division of Extramural Operations. Thank you, Michelle. Jonavi Narula is also a familiar face to us. She will be continuing to support NHGRI, but in a new role um, as the Scientific Program Specialist in the Division of Genomic Medicine. She graduated from the University of California, Los Angeles, with a Bachelor of Science in Biology and a minor in English, and then as a scientific program analyst here at NHGRI before taking over in her current role. She has a strong interest in genomic medicine and hopes to eventually use what she learns here as a physician. Thank you, Janavi. Also recently joining us is Olivia Zisa. She has joined as a scientific program analyst within the Division of Genomic Medicine. She received her Bachelor of Science in Biology with a specialization in cell biology and genetics from the University of Maryland and then served as a program analyst in the Department of Justice before coming to NHGRI. Welcome, Olivia. Alana Rupert is also joining us as our latest ASHG NHGRI post baccalaureate genomics and analyst fellow. That's a mouthful. Um, Alana is excited to join NHGRI supporting the Ethical, Legal, and Social Implications, or LC program, the Genomic Medicine Working Group, and Phenotypes and Exposures, or Phoenix. She recently graduated from Marquette University with a Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Sciences and a minor in Health Studies. She brings a strong desire to work in healthcare, personal experiences that piqued her interest in health disparities, and a passion for genetics and genomics, stemming from courses like epigenomics, which emphasize the significant impact of the environment on individuals and their families. Alana is eager to combine her interest in genetics and healthcare disparities and looks forward to learning and growing throughout this fellowship. Welcome, Alana. All right, now I really do have to get into my computer because we have a late breaking item of a member who just joined us, I believe, today in the Office of Communications. And it's not letting me in. Let's 
See, we shouldn't have let Rudy sit up here so long. Yeah. Yeah, it really was. Do you need your PIV card? Oh, no, I shouldn't need my PIV card. It should let me in. Um, so I'm wondering, Sarah, are you in the room? Do you want to introduce your new? I'm seeing a blank face. Oh. Isol, <laughs> do you have the, the, the information up? Kayla Calvin? Oh. Mm -mm. I don't know who it is. OK, joining us online, we have, thank you, Kayla Calvin. I'm sorry. Yeah, the operations coordinator for the Office of Communications. She comes to us today, so welcome, Kayla, online, oh. um, <laughs> from the NIH Office of the Director, managing inventory and property across institutes. Kayla has a background as an educator, teaching middle and elementary school English in Arlington County. She studied communications at Montgomery College and Howard University, specializing in social media management, creative writing, and history with a focus on ethnic studies and women's and gender studies. So welcome, Kayla. And then next, I would like to acknowledge our Council Society liaison members. Several are joining us remotely. We have Ellen Giarelli from the International Society of Nurses and Genetics, Georgia Boley from the Genetic Alliance, and Lila Jamal from the National Society of Genetic Counselors. And then we have a visitor in the room, Isabella Esquierdo from the Lewis Burke Associates. So welcome to all of you, and welcome to all of you online. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge Riley Wilson, sitting on the other side of Eric. She's a program analyst at NHGRI, and she will be our note taker for this open session, and will be preparing the council minutes document from today's meeting. So thank you, Riley, for that service. All right. Next order of business is the council. I'm asking the council members to seek your approval for the minutes from our May 2024 council meeting. Are there any comments, edits, or corrections from those minutes? All right. Then can we have a motion to approve the May council minutes? I see that. And a second. Thank you very much. All in favor? Looks like everybody, so nobody opposed, nobody abstaining. Jennifer, I'm abstaining, I wasn't here. Oh, thank you very much. We've got one abstaining. And then we want to make sure that you're all aware that the future meeting dates have been put on the open session agenda for the next six meetings, so the next two years of council. Uh, please mark those on your calendars and let us know if you have any conflicts with those meeting dates. Great. I think it's time to yield the floor to Eric for the director's report. Okay.